if we had uh, competitive 1v1s all year round, mm -hmm. do you think it would get to a point where it was always, uh, you know, this type of meta, Caitlyn Grasp and, yeah. you know, the occasional Ferris uh, or Lucian or something like I that? I think it would get, like, sort of solved. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the solve state would be. Like, that is definitely beyond, like, my scope to, it, like, theorycraft it. Yeah, but if you reduce the variables down to one champion per well, sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. it becomes pretty easy to solve. Of yeah. course. But but the, the way I would envision it is either it comes down to an exact mirror match is the only match. Like, yeah. people will figure out uncountable champions, okay, those get banned. Or you're willing to mirror them. Okay, whatever. And that's fine. Or you're like, okay, well, I'm blind picking X, you're blind picking Y, which is blind pick countered by Z. And yeah. you're just, like, you're just flipping coins and, and trying to play rock, scissors. That would be, I think, the way it would it would solve out. All right. Well, tier in this record. now we've got the defending champion, Uzi, here, looking to run it back. Yep. I think he can do it. G4 from Southeast Asia. Yep. Solid mid laner. And so, yeah, you're seeing Marksman on the one side, Mage Man's on the other. Uzi said, he's like, oh, mid lane champ's really good right now. I'm practicing. I'm ready to go. Bans out three of them. Yep. He actually had a really mean Syndra as well. So that he did. Uh, that's definitely one of his own champions as well. Meanwhile, all marksman bans from G4. Yeah. That's not much of a surprise. So let's see what does come through here. See, Faker insta locked. Faker knew what he wanted to play. <laughs> I feel like that's a sign that you like know what's going on. You're like, well, okay, here's my top four champions. Like, I'll just play those. Uh, I yeah. mean, I want to see something like Zed from G4. Oh, man. Because he's he's been one to pop off with that. You know, it's a solo key champion and all that. But I, I definitely enjoy the ones where people go for assassins or go for all ins. All right. Ori MF. I think it's a pretty decent matchup. Uh, no, I'm good. So let's see what we got ourselves for. Yeah. So, of course, we had Faker win with Ori. That happened a couple games ago. That was actually pretty solid. You had. Uh, good harass in lane. You have good all-in potential because you can self-shield. You have bonus stats. Uh, but Uzi, <clears throat> what's interesting here is uh, I think you can play really, really dominant in lane. You Just like with Varus, you can e-spam, land Comet, poke people out, mana flow ban triggers, of course, every time. So it's really, really easy to get poke damage there. G4 can tank that with a shield, though. And I think just like one for one, just trade those abilities and then still do aggressive things. And, and rank one of Ori's shield will handle, I think, more than rank one of Misfortune. I All think right. that's let's, put, let's put it to the test. Yeah. Because, yeah, when, especially you can try and put, you know, extra ranks in and see if, uh, you know, is, is Uzi actually going to go for Q pass throughs or is it all going to be about, uh, you know, the range? I think Q matters a lot. I don't think you even need to rank W in this matchup. The attack speed is kind of nice, but Misfortune's base yeah. attack, basic uh, attack damage is super, super low. And you know why you're too good at trading. Huh? Q and E are just two together. Yeah, it, it, I mean, like Q's rank up is not amazing. It's like 20 damage per rank or something. It's it's not great, when but the cooldown goes down and that's okay. Showdown, What's he gonna buy? Doran's yeah. There's Doran's blade. I could have seen Doran's ring honestly, and he really just plays for E poke. Yeah. And 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 plays out of range because Misfortune E is easy to land and and Ori Q can be dodged. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, what do you think? Mana flow ban or nullifying orb for Uzi? Does he care more about spamming or not getting all in? Mm, I mean. I, I would go Mana Flow Band uh, yep. to take the offensive approach. Boom. Boom. Yep. Basically a world champion. Basically a world champion, <laughs> uh, which is more than Uzi has. So good job, Kobe. Nice. Yep. Actually, you do have a world championship. You have a gold medal on your desk. I've seen. Yeah. The WCG. I don't know if we call that a world championship, but uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was probably titled world championship. Yeah. It, games. It, yeah. All oh. right. Is Uzi going to be able to get on the inside? I didn't see. I don't think the comment hit, right? It would, I, I think it would have done more. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. All right. There we go. The airy, scorch. Yeah, absolute focus, everything. Pretty standard. Yeah, and, and he is not doing nullifying more because he Ooh. didn't expect to take that much damage, damage at low health. Who's he already for forcing him off uh, last hits here? Yeah. Again, Misfortune's passive as well for people. Uh, you know, the first hit on those minions, as yeah. well as on the champion, you can see much bigger trade there. You get a lot of extra damage, so you want to alternate targets. Give Q? Huh. I think that he could have Q'd the cast minion there. Uh, yeah, auto for auto is easily in his favor. Yeah. He'll do about 1.5x the damage that G4 does. And, and so unless G4 is going to land QW back or shield it and auto back, it's just not going to be close. Misfortune loves the single auto and E uh, trading pattern. Interesting. Uzi actually went for, for strut at level two. Uh, but with how short the spells casts are for G4, he's not letting him dodge it anyway. And, and if he doesn't get hit too, oh, he's actually low health. Okay, good self shield. This could be a fight right now. 
Stop heal there. barrier versus heal barrier. Health bar's low. He's saving barrier still. Oh, man, with the relic here as well. G4 pushes Uzi back. He's down significantly in CS at the moment, though. Yeah, yeah, five CS up for Uzi. G4 is a bit low on mana. He has like two more QWs. All right, Uzi has lifesteal as well. So off of these minions, trying to get as many yeah. auto attacks as he can. Level four first, though. That's way too big of an advantage. He's going to force Uzi back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. Now, with Strut, the recalls are a little bit easier. You'll miss like one less CS because of the move speed. Oh, he's waiting for the crash. He can also E that cannon minion. So uh, depending on how this wave moves, he can, he can at least get some of the CS. Pretty easily. OK, he dodged the, some of the damage. He got the harassment with the cannon kill. Yeah. But still, he's going to be under turret. G4 can, can, if he pulls aggro, though, keep in mind uh, that. Yeah. No. Pressuring under the turret here is so scary. We already saw yeah. Maple go down yeah. in a similar fashion, flashing to try and get the chill. OK, that's Comet hits there. So that's at least some damage back. That's a big Q. I think it was shielded. No, it wasn't, actually. He didn't even cast that spell. Big mana advantage here for G4 as well. Yeah, I think he should have shielded. Maybe he did when he was, no, no, because it was never on cooldown. I think he's missing some shields that he should be getting. But it's close. It's 18 and 19 in CS. Uzi actually caught up. Because uh, G4 spent so much time trying to harass that he dropped a lot of the farm when it was pushing. Good relic. Uzi's fine. Uzi has health lead by a lot now. Mm. And with rush control? Oh, that's such a good view. That was a crazy angle, actually. Yeah. And, but G4's been missing shields. That's, that's two in a row that were like pretty long range cues you can see coming in. So. Yeah. He has so much mana to spare, too. All right. He gets that. Yeah. Yeah. I think, he, I think he's laid in a lot of those, though. Unless it really you can't spend the mana, but I don't think so. Hmm, what's the spy is going for right now? Just trying to stock up as much. Yeah, I think it's Thorns ring, ring number two and potions. Yeah. I would actually rather he get potions and boost them in, in Aptome. Yeah. I think potions are way more valuable. 20 AP doesn't matter. It's like 12 shielding. Yeah. They have to shield yourself 10 times to, not, to be a health potion. Like, I don't, I don't think that's correct. Man, approaching level 6, too. I actually love Misfortune Ultimate in the oh. 1v1 situation. Yeah. You can get so much harassment as well as clearing a minion wave with it. It's actually so versatile. But, you know, you don't want to use it before uh, or use it first. Yeah, especially because now G4 is 6. If Uzi was able to stay like one more wave and say, you know what, I'll, I'm just going to sit here and, and just like grab the level before you and just ER you under turret the second you show up. Yeah. Like that could have been a play. Just because you'd know that Ori's still five, but it's just so big with no flashes. Like you misfortune controls like half of this lane yeah. with two abilities. Yeah. If if the Q ever goes on cooldown and Uzi can get away from it, there's a three second window, which is all you need for the channel, where you can't move the shockwave over. And you just you just force six hundred damage off the Oriana. Okay. He force back. Comet already on arrival, too. Yep. Double longsword. Yeah, that fairy charm is getting more and more popular. We're seeing a lot of fairy charm pickups just, just for the regen. It's super efficient. Yeah, it is. As much as mana you're going to get from it. So very yeah. valuable for a lot of the marks to take. Better trade, though, for G4. The, but it's 16 CS, though. So Uzi is in control, right? So Uzi has uh, a good ult that can just sort of reset a lane if it ever goes badly. Yeah. And he's got pretty good long range poke. G4's out of mana already. That was actually just recall. He's already out of mana. Okay, he got refillable, but he's also chucked that through. Yeah, Uzi can already move up with his minion wave right here. Does miss to some last hits, though. Yeah. I don't think it matters, though. At this point, it's, so it's like a drop in the bucket. You know, 54 yeah. to 39. Yeah, the only downside for Uzi, if you miss a CS, it gives more time for G4 to find an opening. Yeah. Right? Like, you want to win in two minutes instead of four minutes. But, yeah, this is going to be hard. G4's in is, is so narrow. He has enough mana for exactly one all in. And yeah, that's what the ult does. You just you just ult from from out of range, and now G4 can't even win it all in. Okay, summoners are all up for both of them as well. Oh, this could be good. Where's Shockwave? Holds it. Okay, good barrier. Still chasing because there's no left tap damage. This could be enough. Oh, he's gonna he try the shield gun. For it. Shield gun, it could kill. Can he get it? Almost. Somebody heal out. Oh no! Oh, that relic was huge. That was the right play for G4. Oh, the relic control comes up big. Uzi, oh. Uzi's sticking around, actually. Looking for the slip into the brush. A good Q could do it. I mean, that cast speed is low. Good E. That was a good, oh, that was such a good sidestep. Because G4 had damage to that QW. Yeah, G4 keeping his shield ready, though. Yeah. All right, he's going to go for the back. Yeah, and he has to. And so now Uzi's going to, that was a really good stay. Get it, getting that, that make it rain right there from brush, like that, I think that won the game. 
because now he's he's yeah. gonna remain up 20 CS. Dang, misses that cannon as well. Though. Yeah, and it does it does give time. Like you saw how close the all in was, and and G4's next all in will have Shockwave without defensive summoners. Yeah, and look at that. Uzi's playing offense rather than defense here. No hex drink or buy. He's going Ooh. lethality for misfortune. I would elect no magic there. Yeah, I mean. I like the lethality. I, I if, mean, if the other guy has to go for the all-in, G4 yeah. right now has to force the all-in, uh -huh. uh, and you ult him in the face. There's yeah. no flashes. There's no way he's getting out of it. Yeah. Because um, your ult's coming off cooldown before the shockwave does. Sure. So he just dies. And that's a cooler way to win. Okay. Jake. It is a cooler way to win. However, make it rain is magic damage <laughs> and is unaffected by lethality, which is kind of awkward. Now, there's a serrated Dirk passive where you kill a minion, your spells do more damage. That does work to make it rain. That's a cool idea. That's it's just right. a little weird. Bullet time is the way to go. You're right, you're right. The stylish victory it is, is more in stylish. Sight. Uzi's, Uzi's in a lot of control right now. That's a good CS right there. 78 and 57, yeah. It has to be an all in for G4. That is the only way you could possibly win. And that's some really good book by Uzi. Uzi's daring him to go for it. Oh, look at that damage. Yeah, how do you win when you take that kind of damage? That poke did nothing. Through Scorch and Airy. Uzi could, I think, so yeah, Uzi's gonna wait until it's, oh, is that oh, dead? That's dead? Oh! G4 oh. gets to live, but for how long? 11 CS to go for Uzi, chunking down the yeah. turret as well. Yeah, yeah. And Uzi's, he's gonna go for the non-greedy play. Like, he could go for 300 turret damage here. This is a champion go freak. Yeah. This is a 1v1 yeah. champion. He wears the crown. He, he wants to keep it. Another longsword picked up. More attack damage. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Uzi. Okay, G4, if he runs back right now, he has ult advantage. And no sums for a few seconds. He can try and go for the big play. Has to be it. Has to be an all in this way or next. That's it. All right. Sweeping in. He's got to run for him. He has the brush. Uzi okay. knows it's coming, though. Okay, good ult. There we go. Pulls in. Good damage, good damage. Q, he can get a back E as well. It's down to half. That's not too bad. Uzi's got no ult. This is good damage. He's gonna turret though. Oh, tower shot! He needs shield. He needs shield. There, it's up back up. QW, QW. Good barrier. E into auto and he's dead. Good barrier as well. This is close. Health relic. Relic, relic, relic. He's going for the bottom relic. He needs shield. Seven CS for Uzi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven there. G4 he's more. forward. Ah, go get him. He needs a turret to help. He needs a turret to steal farm. He's gonna get it. He needs the turret. Oh my god. One more! He gets the last Nihilist. one on the G4 himself. Okay. I'll give you that one. Woo. That's how you show. Like, I was 99 CS. I'll kill you instead. <laughs> All right, Uzi. I like it. Woo. All right. All right. I got 99 CS, and then G4 is one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I made mean, it look like a minion. That was still close, though. CS was very far apart. The fights were close. No nerves were held. That was some good stuff. Up goes Uzi for the handshake. Defending champion of 1v1. We'll be moving on to the next round.